Are you tired of spending lots of time reading through the data over and over again and never getting to the point? That's when visual charts become essential. Charts help you to understand your data quicker. They are also great for reports, presentations, or even for your budget spreadsheet to easily monitor the trend. This is the final video of our personal budget series, and today we are going to visualize the data of our budget using different types of charts. Dishes is a great tool to visualize data. You can easily generate any charts based on the data you have. You can choose from a variety of options, from pie charts to line charts. In this video, you will learn how to build different types of charts in Google Sheets, monitor distribution of your expenses using a pie chart, compare your existing budgets between each other and with what you've planned, and monitor your cash flow through a certain period of time using a line chart. Let's start with the basics to see how to make a graph or a chart in Google Sheets. For example, we have month in the first column. I enter January and then drag the corner down to autofill the cells below. And next we have, let's say, our monthly expenses. Apply a currency format to these cells. So the easiest way to reflect your data on a chart is to select everything as a range, including headings. Then click Insert and select Chart. Gsheets automatically generates a chart for you. The program tries to guess what chart would be the best fit in your case, so now it offers a column chart by default. You can move it around and drag the corners to resize. You may also rename your chart by double-clicking on its name in the upper left corner. You can also review the chart menu we just had on the right by double-clicking on the chart area. There you can edit your chart. First of all, you can of course change the chart type, for example, from column chart to bar chart, and vice versa. Then you can see the data range field, the GSHIS auto field for us. Here we have the month as horizontal axis labels, and here our expenses as vertical axis labels. In the next tab, you can customize your chart. In the chart style, you can choose the background color or font. There are lots of options for customization. You may post the video to explore those. What is easy to remember? Just click on something and you will be able to change it. I click on a bar to choose an individual format for it. A color, for example. Now let's move on to more complex charts related to our personal budget series. For the next example, I'm creating a new tab here. Using a special tool, I easily export all of the data from the budget tracking spreadsheet from our previous video to this new tab. That tool is called Coupler.io. With Coupler, you can easily set up automated data imports from one G sheet to another, as well as from many other apps to Google Sheets. It is so helpful when your data is being constantly updated and changing just like our expenses. I will link it in the description, so make sure to check that out. I'm going to hide the extra columns that we don't need as of right now by right-clicking on a mouse. I also want only the totals for each category of our expenses. So I'm choosing the rows I want to hide in bulk by pressing and holding the Command button on the keyboard. Now that our data is nice and clean, we can visualize it and finally see where all the money goes. For that, I'm going to create a chart from scratch. Select an empty cell where you want to place the chart. Then navigate to the menu bar above, click on Insert and select Chart from the drop-down. In the Chart Editor on the right, change the chart type to a pie chart. For the labels, Select the column with the categories. And for the values, let's use our February expenses. And here is the pie! Obviously, the fixed expenses take the most of our budget. Well, there is also an other way around to build the chart. I will quickly go back and undo the changes. So, in the data range, you can select one range first then click on Add another range button 
and choose the second range and you get the same result. So I'm just breaking the corners to make it a bit more compact. Now I'm switching to a customized tab to name the chart. February expenses. If you hover over the pie sections, you will see how much we spend per each category. To always have this visible, go back to Customize, Pie Chart, and in the Slice Label drop-down, select Value. You may also increase the font size for a better visibility. Now let's compare our expenses and income within a given time frame. I want to see if we keep up with the plan, so let's reveal that column. And I also want to apply currency formatting, just like we did with the basic example. Decrease decimal places, so I don't have any extra zeros. Hide in the column that I don't need. Once again, like we did in the beginning, the simplest way to generate a chart is to select all of the data you want there. Insert Chart Google Sheets did a great job having automatically generated a column chart for us here. Let's place it on the right and rename as Budget Comparison. You can see that our income in March, the green one, exceeded what we've planned, which is a blue column. I think that is cool. Next, as for the fixed expenses, they mostly met the expectations. Necessary expenses turned out to be a bit higher than planned. And as a result, we couldn't save up enough money. At the same time, we spent way more than we could afford on personal expenses. Stuff like eating out, various subscriptions, and so on. So, the main question I want to answer with the help of charts is whether our expenses fit the planned budget. So, I'm moving this one around to leave some space for a line chart, which is the most popular type of chart, and it is so easy to see the trend with it. As the data I want to see their income and expenses is not placed next to each other in my table, I cannot create a chart by simply selecting a range in advance. So again, starting off with a blank cell, click on Insert, Chart. Place it to not overlap with other charts we have here. Double click on the chart area and in the chart editor menu on the right, change the type to a line chart. Since I want to set a time frame on a horizontal axis, I'm choosing the range from the first row. By default, a column is required here, so I need to switch columns and rows, giving it another try, and yep, it works. And for series, which are the lines, I'm choosing the rows with the total income and expenses, basically what I want to see next to each other. So you see we have the two lines almost on top of each other and that is not only because the planned and actual budgets are pretty much the same, but that is also due to the budget scale and the free space below. To shrink that extra space a little bit and zoom in our scale, go to Customize tab, Vertical Axis and set the minimal value to start from $2500. So, it's much better now. Now I just go and rename the chart. What you can tell right away is that our expenses grow along with our income. Yet higher income is still a great opportunity to save up some money. And we can achieve that by spending less on our wants. Today, you have learned how to visualize data using different types of charts. 
Charts are a great way to condense large amounts of data into an easy-to-understand format. They can be useful in a budget template to monitor your expenses and a cash flow in an easy way without looking at the big pieces of info. Also, charts are an essential part of presentations, as they can bring out some insights to someone looking at the data for the first time. That is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. And thank you for watching Railsource budget series. Click on the like button and subscribe to see more related content. And I will see you in our next video.